Hi everyone, I'm sure that many of you have seen the last series of Hurricane Chronicles, but only some of you may know what happened after Naruto and Hinata's marriage. I'm talking about the events after the 700th chapter of Naruto's manga and the last movie. I think that many of you would want to know how Naruto and Hinata have spent their honeymoon and gave us Boruto and Himawari. You won't believe this, but one of Pierrot's studio employees let us see the events that occurred after the Naruto anime. Thanks to one of the leading Pierrot's animators, I will show you the first and only images of events after the 500th series of Naruto anime, which he posted on his personal pages. Animator's name is Chan Tse, and he worked with various anime such as Naruto Hurricane Chronicles, Sword Masters Online, Kuroku Basketball and other very cool titles. He was the film director in the 65th series of Boruto. It's that epic episode where Naruto and Sasuke met with Momoshiki. Get yourself some tasty treats and enjoy this video. To ensure that everyone understands the chronology of events, I want to start with the latest Naruto movie, where he was supposed to face Toneri to get Hinata back. After the end of the film, Naruhina had a beautiful wedding, and from this point on, the most exciting story of the Yuzumaki family begins. The first thing that I wanted to show you is when Naruto and Hinata are in a traditional Japanese house called Ryokan, where you can see Hinata kissing Naruto, since she's so happy to be married. There, Yukata gave us a hint that newlyweds are planning to provide us with a new generation. The idea is to show us that their honeymoon is pretty successful. So, what happened next? The story doesn't end then, because a bit later, Chen Se has posted more images and even a small animation, allowing us to see the missed moments. Due to the animator series of images, we can see how Hinata stands up. Unfortunately, Chen Si didn't show us the colored version of animation, but even looking at these images, we can confidently say that Wedding Night was successful. At that moment, Naruto and Hinata's appearance has caused an enormous fuss among many Naruhina's fans. There wasn't anything indecent, but we can clearly see that both characters were having a true continuance of love developed during 700 chapters of Naruto manga. <laughs> At that age, when she was on the honeymoon, Hinata must have gotten pregnant at the same night she was by the animator. Hinata and Naruto had their first child, and here we can see one of the official images of Kishimoto. Why does Chen Si post one more picture to show us that Himawari is still very little, and Boruto is younger than in the first series of a new generation? Therefore, I can say with confidence that Naruto and Hinata made their first baby on their honeymoon. A little after the birth of Himawari, we saw a short clip of Boru and Hima growing up. It was adorable. <laughs> I think it's good that the family life of Naruhina was revealed to us at least a little, and it's all thanks to the animator, who must be a big fan of this couple. By the way, do you think it's odd that all children of the new generation are of the same age? According to all rules, Boruto must be older than other children of a new era. Hinata gave birth to Boruto when she was 20, right after the wedding, and it's quite early even for Naruto's universe. For example, Shikaku was 26 when Shikamaru was born, and Minato was 24 when Naruto appeared. Hiruzen is the most powerful here, the old man was 42 when Asuma was born. Out of 5 Kanoha 11 children, they were all born in the same year, which seems horrible because Sasuke spent his journey with Sakura. I mean, it would be understandable if children were 2 years apart instead of 2 months. Apparently, after Naruto and Hinata's wedding, every Kanoha Shinobi 11 had their own plans. <coughs> oh my.
In the 277th series of Hurricane Chronicles, Kurama said fascinating words. I'm sure you know where I'm heading. Judging by his comments, Kurama sees absolutely everything that happens in Naruto's life. I'm more than confident that he even feels all his emotions. If Kurama sees everything that Naruto does, is it possible that he could have seen that same moon on that mysterious night? Apparently, that's the way it was, although I am not sure if they felt uncomfortable in that situation. I want to believe that Kurama was sleeping very profoundly, or making it look like he wasn't seeing or hearing what was happening. Otherwise, he's the only creature in the world who knows what Hinata actually looks like. I'm sure you have your own images in your head, but Kurama definitely could have seen her once. He probably could have increased Naruto's chakra in the third round if that was needed. Although, now don't start wondering about it, it was just a joke. To be honest, everything is very confusing here. There was a moment when Kurama didn't see Minato and was surprised, having felt his chakra. But in the 538th chapter of Naruto, Kurama says that he never stopped looking at him during the entire series. I don't know what exactly Kurama thinks about Hinata, but it was clear that he liked living in the family that Naruto built, and he had a strong desire to protect them, which he did, having sacrificed his own life for his only friend. If you didn't see my last video on this topic, look at it, and you will know what I mean. In the 126th series of Boruto, even Shukaku realized it. Kurama said that he's crazy about everyone in the Uzumaki house, and that they're never boring. It was noted with deep warmth. Kurama's reaction to Naruto's marriage doesn't concentrate on the person he married, but on the fact that he's happy now with a loving family. Kurama knew it better than anyone that Naruto didn't have happiness in his childhood. I mean, he has been looking after Naruto ever since he was born. He knows his story better than anyone. <laughs> Cita,